A developing story tonight after cell phone video surfaced showing a deadly officer involved shooting in southeast Houston. Within the last few hours, Houston's police chief spoke about the video, saying there's also body camera footage from the officers themselves. Channel 2's Robert Arnold spoke with the wife of the man who was killed by police. Robert, what is she telling you tonight? Well, naturally, she is devastated. Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo says they are currently reviewing body camera footage from 70, that is 7-0 body cams. However, the chief did say it was five officers who were involved in this confrontation. He's had his days where he just be moving around and just not acting himself. Jessica Chavez says she believes her husband, Nicholas Chavez, suffered from mental illness, and she says she suspected drug use, even though she says he denied it. Houston police then got a call about a man trying to kill himself by walking into traffic on I-10. Police say Chavez actually tried to stab officers with what turned out to be a piece of rebar and that he even stabbed himself. From what the funeral home says, um, there was th three stab wounds, but I didn't believe that he was necessarily trying to kill himself. Police say for 15 long minutes, Nicholas Chavez refused orders to drop what was in his hand and advanced on officers. Police say beanbag rounds and tasers had no effect. In fact, they say Chavez used the taser's wires to pull the device toward him right before he was shot. I've got some concerns that I, that I have to, that I will not be able to say whether it's justified or not until I finish getting into uh, what everybody, what, what people knew, what they perceived. Police Chief Art Acevedo would not elaborate on his concerns, but cautions the video on social media does not paint a complete picture. It makes me hurt deep down inside because he is my husband and I do love him and I do care for him. The Houston Police Officers Union also released a statement shortly after the Chief's news conference saying that once the entire body cam footage is released, they believe it will show a case of, in their words, suicide by cop. They go on to write, obviously, it is very unfortunate that the individual backed these officers into a corner, but it is clear from the totality of the circumstances that our officers followed their training and gave this individual every opportunity to comply peacefully and safely. Again, that's a statement from the Houston Police Officers Union. Reporting live from police headquarters, in downtown, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Robert, thank you.